Today, I'd like to share with you all how to create a dancing word cloud video using Comfy UI. Let me first show you some of my works. This is a melancholic portrait of Elsa, transformed into a word cloud filled with the word Elsa. Just because you're so beautiful, everyone understands. This word cloud redraw video is based on the spin animation of the lovely Miss Yang Xiaxia's Zhang Yuanying. In today's workflow, we'll be using the following custom nodes. The word cloud, which is the core of this process and generates cloud-shaped images based on input words. The llama remover, a newcomer that acts like an eraser to remove parts of the image. And the was node suite, an old friend known for its strong image processing capabilities. Although this tutorial is about making a video, we won't actually be using anime diff. Instead, we'll focus on image processing and video synthesis. Each step can be executed smoothly without worrying about excessive GPU memory usage. Even my old GTX 1060 computer can handle it. Without further ado, let's get started. Open Comfy UI. I'll start by using the Load Image node to load an image of Elsa. Then, select the Word Cloud node. It has two main inputs, the color underscore f underscore image, which is an optional reference image, in our case. We directly input the original image, so the colors of the generated characters will be based on the Elsa image we just used, which makes it more suitable. If not provided, you can choose from pre-selected color combinations in the color map below. Then the mask underscore image, which defines the overall area of the word cloud. To achieve this, we'll add a Remove Background node to remove the background and focus on Elsa's figure. We'll use the U2Net algorithm for background removal. The resulting image will serve as the mask for the word cloud. Back in the word cloud node, we'll input the word Elsa to fill the cloud. Add a preview image node and click Run to see the effect. Quickly, the result shows a scattered Elsa, which is not ideal, because I forgot to set repeat to true. Let's fix that and run it again. Wow! Different sized Elsa words fill the image, creating a successful word cloud. Let's adjust a few parameters. The width and height define the output image size. But since we're using a mask, they won't affect the output. However, changing the scale to 4, increasing the generated text image's size by 4 times, can improve the result. Click Run again to see the improved effect. Creating just a word cloud over Elsa's figure isn't enough for me. I want to blend it back into the original image. To do this, we'll add an image blending mode node. Connect the text image to image underscore A and the original image to image underscore B. Since the word cloud's result is four times the size of the original image, we'll use an upscale image node to resize it back to the original dimensions for better integration with the original image. Convert the width and height in the node to inputs and add a get image size node. Connecting the width and height ports on the right to the newly added ports and connecting the left side to the original image. Connect the upscaled image to image underscore A. Set the parameters to 0.5 and click Run. The text image blends perfectly with the original image, but I want the text to completely replace the figure. For this, we need a new custom node called Big Llama Remover, which can effectively erase objects from images. We'll use the background removed image as a mask and connect it to image underscore B. After processing, the result will show only the text, achieving the desired effect. 
thanks to the Llama node's handling of the original image. The image blending mode offers several options, besides add, the screen option also works well, making the entire image brighter. Regarding the word cloud, some might wonder if it only supports English. Actually, it depends on the font you choose. For example, I selected a Chinese font, Fangjing Bold, and inputted a Chinese word into the text box. You can separate each word by both Chinese, English commas, and spaces. Click Run. And after a moment, the Chinese version of Elsa is born. Once we can create a word cloud image, we can also make a word cloud video. Let me demonstrate. Change the text back to Elsa in English. Add a load video node. And load our dancing video. Skip the first 70 frames and select 20 frames for now. The key thing to note here is that some nodes cannot accept batch image inputs, so we need to add an image batch to image list node separately. For example, in the word cloud section, after remg, we need to convert to a list for both Big Llama and the word cloud nodes. Complete the other connections. Since this time we will ultimately create a video, we also need to add a video combine node, which works the opposite way. It requires a batch input, so I'll add an image list to batch node. Now. Click Run. Let's speed up the processing a bit. The text images have been processed first, totaling 20 images. The video has also been successfully composed. The effect is quite good, with colors referencing our source video. I'll also show you a workflow I made for Zhang Yuaning spinning animation. Since the previous workflow involves repetitive background removal, it's time consuming. I pre-processed the images and loaded them directly from the folder, which saves time and energy. The latter part of this workflow is similar to the previous one, but we start with selecting the required image material instead of uploading a video. The input parameters such as the number of images, skip frames, and dimensions are now externalized for easy modification. This workflow requires three types of image materials. The background mask, the figure mask, and the original image. This time, I'm not skipping frames, and will process 60 images from scratch. Clicking Run will take us directly to view the background image after processing with Llama. I personally find it quite good. Then, we'll proceed to the final result. We successfully converted the spinning dance of the text person. I didn't adjust the parameters this time, so the text color may appear somewhat light. If you want clearer outlines, you can modify the parameters of word cloud or the blending mode of image blending. I won't demonstrate these adjustments one by one, but you can customize based on your original video. That concludes today's video. I'll include the custom nodes links and the three workflows in the description below for those interested. Until next time.